Hey guys, Chris here. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys eight things I absolutely love about the Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV. Believe it or not, but even though this is a more than five meter long, two meter wide, almost three ton electric SUV that can carry five adults with a lot of room, a lot of comfort, with a huge cargo capacity, it is actually a very efficient electric car for being this size of vehicle. According to my range test, my long trip test, this is actually more efficient than the substantially smaller Audi Q8 e-tron and that is just impressive. I don't know how they've been able to do that, but they have. It is actually super efficient for being this size of electric car. With a usable battery capacity of 108.4 kilowatt hours and also great efficiency for being this type of vehicle, this car has one of the best real world ranges of any electric car on the market. It is absolutely one of the best performing cars in my range test done at 120 kilometers an hour or 75 miles per hour, getting more than 400 kilometers in the real world on the motorway, well above 400 kilometers. So when it comes to range in the real world, this is one of the best electric cars there is out there. And it's just amazing. I, I really love that about this car. Because this car is so huge on the outside, it's also huge in here. I mean, check out the front cabin. It's really roomy, really spacious. And here in the rear seat, the story is the same. I have plenty of knee, knee room behind my friend who was sitting here, who is six foot two, who was comfortable in the front seat. I have massive amounts of headroom, even though we have this dual panoramic sunroof set up and then the trunk behind there it is huge. So this is a very roomy, very spacious car. And if you're traveling four or even five adults, it's just super comfortable. Look at all this leg room and also room for my feet. The floor is completely flat. So if you have a passenger here in the middle, if I sit in the middle, yeah. I mean, look at this, huge amounts of headroom, interior space, you're gonna be so comfortable in this car with all this space in here. Before I tell you guys the rest of the things I really love about this Mercedes EQS SUV, I just want to give a huge thanks to today's video sponsor, Saptic, with their Saptic Go. The Saptic Go is a small, cool, and stylish home charger that can charge up to 22 kilowatts on AC charging. It will work with every electric car on the market, including a Tesla. So if you want to purchase one of the best home chargers out there on the market, go to the link in the description box down below. Check out your country, click the link and purchase one from there. One of my most favorite things about this version of MBUX is the route planner. So let's enter Bergen as a destination on the west coast of Norway. And if you want to see a trip to Bergen with this car, check out the video here on the channel. I did that a few videos ago, an awesome trip and it really illustrates the range of this car. So we've entered Bergen as a destination. We have this huge map interface here and it tells us we're gonna have to, it's a little bit of traffic. It tells us here we have one charging stop. Uh, we're gonna ride there with 18% battery and then it wants us to charge to 33%. It's gonna tell you what time we're gonna arrive there, what the name of the charging provider is, the address and also our destination here is going to show us that we're going to arrive there with 9% state of charge. The distance, the time, everything. It, it's so easy. It, it's so good to use. This is one of the best, if not the best, route planner for an electric car there is out there in, in, in any electric car. It's really, really good. MBUX may not be my most favorite infotainment system, but it does have some really, really good features like the wrap planner I just showed you. And you also have a shortcut button here to an EQ menu. And that brings up this, which is super, super awesome. I mean, it shows you our battery percentage. It shows you your graph here also, but this is the best thing. DC maximum charging speed at this state of charge and the battery being this temperature. So if you navigate to a charter or if you do a route planning, uh, it will actually preheat the battery automatically when going to a, a charger. But at any time you can press the EQ button and it will show you with the state of charge and also the current battery temperature. It doesn't have a battery temperature readout. You only get that on AMG models or EQ AMG cars. We'll give you that in the display here, but this is so cool. So now if I go to a charger, I know that I'm gonna get a maximum charging speed of 83 kilowatts. Why isn't this standard 
in every electric car. This is such a smart idea and a great feature. I drive a lot of cars here on the channel. I've driven a lot of cars in the past few years because it's my job to drive, to review, to test these cars and give you guys my opinion. So if you're liking the content, if you're liking these videos, please be sure to drop a thumbs up on the video down below and also subscribe to the channel if you are liking the content. There are a lot more cool videos coming here in the near future. I also have a top things I hate about this car just to balance it out because as much as I love a lot of things about this car, there are also things I really don't like. So stay tuned for that video. But with that being said, one of the things I absolutely love about this car is just how quiet and comfortable it is. And as I was saying, I've driven a lot of cars lately in the past few years, and I don't think there's anything that quite drives as comfortably or as quiet as it is and is so isolating. That whole driving experience here is just second to none. It's not even close to being sporty. And I don't think there is any intention to try to be sporty. This is just a luxury yacht. It's a luxury boat. It's it's so impressively quiet and isolated from the environment on the other side of this glass here. It's just super impressive, this whole thing. Despite being more than five meters long, I think it's like 5.1 or close to 5.1, the turning circle of this car is just ridiculously tight. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. It's so dumb how tight it is. Look at that. Look at that. And that is because this has four wheel steer. This thing has a smaller turner radius than most subcompact hatchbacks. It's insane. It just makes this car super maneuverable when it shouldn't. It's insane. One of the hardest things to convey on camera and in a YouTube video is just how this car makes you feel because if you're buying a car at this price point and even this this size with these features it's not a logical decision you're not you know weighing pros and cons in an excel sheet you're buying with your heart the way a car makes you feel is a huge part of purchasing something this expensive and this car makes me feel a way that very few other cars make me feel and I feel rich driving it. It's, it's really weird and it's not even my car. This is the third time I have a Mercedes EQS SUV on loan and it's the same thing every time I hop into these. I just feel rich driving this, driving it around. I just feel rich. It's, it's a really hard and strange thing to talk about and try to explain to you guys and not a lot of cars make you feel rich rich even my my daily driver my porsche tycon cross Turismo, i don't feel rich driving that driving this i just feel wealthy it's really weird so there we go guys those are the eight things i absolutely love about the mercedes eqs suv let me know if you've driven this car if you've seen it on the internet on youtube or watch any videos is there anything you love about this car that i missed in today's video so guys i hope you did enjoy today's video if you did please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content as always please subscribe see you guys later and goodbye